So hi, I tried to I tried to speak uh, inside five minutes. Uh, my name is Gabby. I come from Wikimedia Estonia, and I'm going to talk about introductory or simply tutorial videos of Wikipedia. So the first question will be, why did we need introductory videos? And the simple answer is to attract young people. Because as we can see, TikTok gets more popular, Instagram Reels are really popular. So young people prefer that they can see some and listen someone else instead of reading. So who? Who made these videos? Uh, you can see here three persons. Actually, this is all of the em employees of Wikimedia Estonia. But uh, there is me. I was, during this project, I was an operator and I edited these videos. The next one is Bille in the middle, who was directing these videos. And the last one is Gerdo, and uh, he was the actor in these videos. So how did we make them? Since we didn't have any professional studio or anything, we just booked one library, went into there. We did have a camera, a stand and a microphone. We did buy a teleprompter and we just started filming, saw how it went. And now we have, I think, 14 videos. Yeah, I put one picture here from the editing program as well. So actually you can see here that uh, we have screencasts and acting. And uh, you can see both the screen, how to do something, and you can see a person explaining it to you, how to do it. So, we only covered for now one topic how to write an article to Wikipedia. And we actually did like uh, mini lessons. I uh, translated these to English here, but we currently have them only in Estonian. So the visual editor choosing the topic, the notability criteria, what was already mentioned yesterday, the structure, how to start an article, how to write the first sentence of an article, and so on. You can read them yourselves. And currently, for already two or three weeks, they are all actually foundable on our YouTube, on our home page, and also on comments. And if we have time, I can... Ah, no! <laughs> okay. Oh, it's yours. Yeah. Describe 
rather rare in video production. I suppose it's because the, the, the speech has to be very accurate. Actually, it, it the first uh, five videos we did without teleprompter, yeah. and there you can see a lot of this head because Keto read the lines, tried yeah, to yeah, remember yeah, them, yeah. and then, ooh, yeah. But uh, then, accidentally, Gerdo had a leftover teleprompter, and uh, then we ca could use this one, and it was much more smooth, like reading from the teleprompter, and it was so much nicer in the video. Is it difficult to use the teleprompter? No, really easy. <laughs> good, good, uh, I don't know, because we uh, bought the used one, yeah. and it was not that expensive. Are you planning to put some of these on TikTok or make TikTok versions? It's an interesting idea. We should, we should, actually. <laughs> yeah. How did you write the text? Did you use half pages of Wikipedia or created anything? Uh, we actually wrote the script before mm -hmm. starting filming. Then uh, Pille, uh, she recorded all the screencasts, did all the work, what you saw on screen, mm -hmm. and then later we recorded so that Gerdo was reading over these pages. So it was like one whole video. Mm -hmm. Any more questions? Uh, do you have any initial impressions? What, uh, what did uh, what the you viewers think and what do they people use it, watch it? We or? know that uh, some uh, lecture, lecturers in university already use them, but we actually haven't made a big uh, promotion for them yet because we want to do some new videos. Then there is also the question about Vector 2022, <laughs> yes. because uh, we did these videos before we knew that the new Vector is coming. So we're currently a little bit waiting. Uh, do we need to redo some videos or not? Yeah, thanks a <laughs>